Hello guys, my name is Caleb Williams, and this is my first episode of my podcast. For now it's solo, and for now it's also called Caleb's Teen Scene. Uh, In my first episode, I'm going to be talking about summer jobs, because summer is just around the corner, uh, and for a lot of schools it's only like two weeks away. So I feel like it's relevant, because a lot of teens will be trying to find jobs, and I do have some good experience being a teenager and trying to find a job. The first topic I'm going to be talking about is lifeguarding. At least in my area, uh, almost everybody has been a lifeguard. It's an easy job to get into. You don't need a whole lot of experience. It's The training is relatively simple. It's not super um, complex like a lot of other jobs. Uh, and there's not a big learning curve. So in my area, um, there's a lot of smaller pools. And so in my experience, the smaller pools give you more flexibility. But I understand a lot of you might not have small pools, so you won't have a huge amount of flexibility. But it still is a great first job. And while the pay might not be great, um, you can pick up a lot of hours. And it's generally, like I said, very flexible. And it's the summer, so you don't have to worry about working around your school schedule. So I worked 40 hours a week. I worked a crap ton over the summer. Uh, and I made a lot of money now per hour. I don't only was like, I say only, it was like 12, 11, 12 dollars. So I would say in general, it's a great first job though, because while you do have to be vigilant and constantly like watching for people to make sure they don't drown, um, if you work on smaller pools, it's a simple job. It will be straining, it will be tiring. You will come home tired because you're in general out in the sun for eight hours a day and you're constantly watching, you're constantly paying attention, so you will get tired. But I feel like it's a great first job to to learn the skills of how to work with people. You get to be outside and a lot of other people are also around your age. So if you're trying to find friends, if you're trying to just get out and about, it's a great first job to build your social network because odds are you'll be with people who are of similar age to you. In general, you can't go wrong with lifeguarding. The next job I'll be talking about is landscaping or yard work. Out of all the jobs I will be talking about here, for me, this is the job that has given me the most flexibility, even more so than lifeguarding. This job is perfect for for people who enjoy spending time outside and don't mind getting their hands dirty. Basically, this job is manual labor. Uh, You'll be pushing a lawnmower, you'll be pulling out weeds in 100 degree weather for like four hours a day. At least that's that's my experience. So um, for me, I love the job because I like being outside. It gives me a chance to get my vitamin D in. Uh, It gives me a good tan. It makes me understand that a lot of the jobs aren't super easy, but but the harder jobs might pay you more. That's my case with this job a lot. For this job, you you need uh, in general experience to get into. It's kind of hard if you've never been if you've never mowed lawns before or done any landscaping to just get into landscaping. Uh, I started off mowing my family's lawn and my neighbor's lawn and that gave me the, the skill I am to, to have the job I have now. Um, and so I would say that that's the, the big drawback from this job. It's not super easy. Uh, if you are not physically fit, uh, the job will be hard because you will be outside in the sun. It will be very hot. Um, and you will need to be wary of that. You need to drink a lot of water when you're outside. The next job on the list is retail. Now retail is, in my experience, the easiest job out of all of these, but it might not have the best pay. For people who want to be left alone, for people who want an easier job, who don't mind you know, not having to talk to people, some people like that, some people don't like that. Right here in my area, you can get a job at Target for $15 an hour, and you will have to talk to some people, but it's $15 an hour, and you get to stay inside in the AC. I will also say retail has the most diverse opportunities, Um, and what I mean by that is you can get a ton of different benefits depending on where you work. If you work at um, different clothing stores, you'll have access to different clothing. So if you work at like PacSun, you'll get PacSun clothing. If you work at Men's Warehouse, you'll get men's wor- men's warehouse clothing. It's just stuff like that. And you can tailor your job to what you want to get in return, what your benefits you want. So it gives you the most diverse opportunities for for expanding your social network, for meeting new friends, for just getting stuff uh, for free. If you like golf, you could go work at, at a golf store and get, you can get free golf clothes, stuff like that. You can pick up a lot of hours. It can be difficult because they ask, they might ask you to work like 16 hours. They might ask you to work a double shift, but um, you can make a lot of money if you get a retail job with good pay. In general, that can be kind of difficult depending on where you are. 
The biggest drawback I would say is that retail is usually done around a giant company. They are often unforgiving and have a high turnover rate. So problems that you might experience with a general with a giant company like Target is you can get problems getting your pay versus if you work for a much more local or smaller store you can build up a trust you can build up a trust with a, a store owner so i would recommend working for a locally owned store the last uh, job i'll talk about is food service now food service is up there with uh, money making opportunities like lawn scamping lawn scaping it's very lucrative but it's very draining i would argue it's much more draining than uh yard work just because i am not a people person and in food service you have to be a people person or you will learn to be a people person uh, that brings me to one of my biggest points which is if you're trying to develop better people skills be a server interacts with people because food service will force you to interact with people and it will grow your social ability your uh, people skills so if you lack confidence talking to people you will hate it at first because it will force you to to better that and that's a very important skill in life uh, it can be really good it can be really bad depending on where you work what your customers are uh, if you work with a higher end restaurant, if you work in a higher end restaurant, your patrons will be more respectful, tip more, but it will be harder to get a job there, and your um, you will have to have better experience, and you have to be more polite. It's all relative to where you work. If you work at a much more lower end restaurant or fast food, your patrons will be less polite and less patient. You will get paid less, but it will be an easier job to get into. Um, and so that's the other thing. Food service industry, you can really move up the ladder. If you just go into it, you probably won't be able to get a job at a best at a really good playing, paying place. You will have to work your way up the, the food service ladder and the food service industry if you want to get a job at a nice place with really nice people. But at that point, you'll be making a lot of money. So there's some drawbacks to take into account. Um, I would argue if you're looking for money, food service or landscaping, if you just want a chill job, retail, um, or lifeguarding. But um, that's about it I'll have for you today. Uh, thank you for listening.